welcome to day number four of the nail art advent calendar with our kelly and karen i'm so excited today's theme is nordic i really struggled with this one i'm not gonna lie and i didn't really think outside the box much with this one even though i was really trying to think outside the box because i want to make sure that during this whole advent calendar i'm trying to make sure i do something different that we don't all do the same things <laughs> So anyway, this one, I ended up going with a, a, a Fair Isle, like Nordic design. I think Fair Isle is actually the, the knitting pattern, whereas Nordic is the, I'm not sure, is the, yeah, anyway, shut up now, it's right. So um, I've gone over with two coats of Very Berry from Madame Glam. You can use code NATMUG30 to save 30% if you order any gel polishes from the Madame Glam website. The only thing you don't get discount on is their outlet centre because everything in there is heavily discounted anyway. So you can't, you can't get like two lots of discount, which is a shame, but obviously it's understandable because otherwise they'd be giving it away then i've gone over <coughs> excuse me with the velvet matte top coat because i like my nails matte finished as you all should know by now um if you're new by the way welcome welcome come in put your feet up and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> anyway sorry right yeah so i've gone over with matte top coat um the matte top coat is easier to work on as well if i if i made this shiny the design here if if i was using gel polish on a um on a on a shiny top coated nail it would run around all over the place so i've to make my life easier i've matte top coated the nail and i'm also using a gel paint as opposed to a gel polish because gel paint is a lot thicker so that will help me control the the design how yeah it'll give me more control over the gel paint during the design process yeah that makes sense um but you can use gel paint it doesn't matter either way and the good thing about madame glam's gel paints are that they do not have a tacky layer so you don't actually have to i'm gonna um go over these with some acrylic powder to make it look um textured and, and matte whereas if you don't want that you can just leave this as it is but it will cure shiny but that's fine if you prefer if you like that then that's fine i quite like that quite a lot because i like the difference between the matte like the matte background and the shiny design so it just whatever you prefer or whatever your customer prefers your client you just do you know what makes them happy and what makes you happy um i'm doing a like diamond flower i don't know what you call this bit on on a, on a fair isle design but can you see i've put like two lines to kind of guide me to where my diamonds are gonna go um it's really not easy trying to describe just go, ba, 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 ba. I cannot speak. I can't get my words out. Um, it's difficult trying to describe where I'm going to put these little diamond, diamond shapes. It was awkward. Whew. But we've done six of them, and there's two that are kind of always opposite each other. I hope that helps. Probably not, but that's as good as I can get. I'm afraid. <laughs> then i haven't cured the gel paint i'm actually going over the gel paint with some acrylic powder the gel paint is going to suck up all that powder and if you just tap it off have a look at the design and if it's still shiny then you want to go over it again with some acrylic powder i accidentally look i'm such a clumsy oaf fortunately oh, it was absolutely fine i would have cried if that had like if that had because i was really pleased with how this turned out I've tried these before and they're really, I'm not going to lie, it's, if you're going to hand paint this, it's going to be awkward. But I didn't just want to get a sticker and throw it on and say, ta-da, because I feel that's like a bit of a, that's a bit of a, I mean, I'm not saying that if you do put a sticker on, it's absolutely fine. But because I'm doing a single nail, I wanted to show you how to do it hand painted, even though I'm not very good at explaining the design process. <laughs> I'm actually quite rubbish um i'm doing two lines now now they weren't supposed to be as thick as this but actually i quite liked how thick they they end up in the end which 
yeah was good so i'm trying to make the lines the same distance from the flower at the top as at the bottom and then i'm going to leave a gap and i'm going to add another line at the top and the bottom and if you want to if you prefer shiny you can use a shiny top coat instead of a matte top coat i've used a matte top coat underneath this um but if you're using a matte top coat do uh, sorry if you're using a shiny top coat do bear in mind that if you're using a gel polish to create your design um, a gel polish is quite runny compared to a gel paint and it's going to be really awkward to control the gel paint on the shiny top coat which is why i've used matte that's my excuse i really just like matte top coat but no but seriously gel paint is difficult to work on on a shiny top coat because it runs all over the place um, also to make your life easier instead of using a gel polish use a gel paint if you do want to use shiny because it will give you a little bit more control i hope that helps um now i've done the lines i'm going to go over with the acrylic again uh, with this kind of design do a little bit then sprinkle it and cure it and then do it just so that you don't like because you could get all the, almost all the way to the end of the design and then you could muck a little bit up and you could be like, oh darn it, I've done almost the whole thing. And it might be really awkward to correct it without ruining the, do you know what I mean? So if you're, if you're ever worried, do it in sections. Um, <clears throat> if I was brave and I hadn't cured those lines, these little crosses that I'm doing right now would probably touch the lines. But because they aren't touching, because I've already cured the lines, I hope I can explain this well. I didn't want to get the gel polish, the gel paint, sorry, over like touching the lines and over the lines and end up with a like a bumpy design. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Like if I'd done this all in one go, all the white design would look even and nice. Whereas I'm worried that if I went over it or accidentally, you know, like went over the white line, I'd end up with a thicker bit where the gel paint touches the previous do you, do you know what i mean am i explaining that i don't know if i'm explaining that well enough so that's why my little lines don't quite touch the edges of the the lines my little white crosses don't touch the edges of the lines do you know what i mean i don't know i hope they do they do nuts i'm sure they do yes maybe <laughs> So I'm putting the crosses at the bottom again, but because the nail tapers inwards, I'm only going to put three crosses on the bottom because otherwise it would they'd end up being smaller and it would look yeah. Anyway, before I sprinkle it with acrylic, I'm just going to add some little dots in between the diamonds, so six dots around the flowery diamondy thing, and then we're going to add some dots along. We're going to do a line of dots along the bottom. And a line of dots along the top i was trying to make them roughly the same size and the same distance apart and it's not i mean it's it's easier said than done to be honest this is the best i could do and and now i've done that now i will sprinkle that with some acrylic powder um it reminds me of like christmas pajamas christmas pajama design i love christmas and I get to love it even more this year because we get to celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. Even though Jesus wasn't born on December the 25th. It was more like September something. But I'm sure it was September something. It's, yeah, anyway, there you go. If you didn't know that, you do now. Uh, brush off the excess acrylic. And that is, um, that is that nail done. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't think out of the box even more, but that's it done. Don't forget to go and check out Kelly and Karen's um, day four design now. Um, I'll leave their link to their channels down below so you can go and find them. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. God bless. And I will see you tomorrow with day five. <laughs> Love you. Bye.